Isn't it amazing how life is one thing and then in an instant it becomes something else? Like here I am, Mia, the girl who thinks about the cello and Adam and Juilliard. And just like that. That could never exist again. You've been really busy as an actress. You've got a resume that most people don't have for like years and years and years. So I gotta ask right off the top, because everybody in Houston wants to know, how did you get the acting bug and where did this all start? Um, I was five years old and I didn't even mean to, to start acting. It was more just, I mean, I've been pretty much professionally trained since I was five years old and kind of honed the artistic ability and grew into it. I love the music. I'm a music guy. I also do radio and the Smashing Pumpkins cover, by the way, is just amazing. Yeah. I was this like, oh, really they're, cool cover, right? they're going there. Did you, do you play cello? Um, I, I had to, to try and learn it for the, for the project and really what it was was learning the emotionality of it because it's such an intricate classical instrument. So, Gail, I'm, this has got to be exciting for you because, I mean, the book did so well. It continues to do well. Uh, all your books, congratulations Thank on that. You. But, you know, not a lot of people get a book, becomes a film. How did that make you feel? Yeah, no, it's it's a little bit like winning the lottery, um, and then it's even more so because I had this this great team making the film, and and I'm you know, I know your authors will say this, but I really am. I'm so I'm so happy with how the film turned out. It it makes me when I when I watched it being shot, I got like that twist in the gut of the of the feels, and when I when I saw it screened for the first time. You know, I cried an embarrassing number of times. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited for everybody else to get to see it. All right, final question before they give you the wrap. I got to ask you, where are the MTV awards? Um, I actually have a, I call them an ego wall. I have a wall of like posters and like awards and playbills for my, my play I did. And it's like, it's ridiculous.